My name is Peter Nicholson. I'm the Chief Fiduciary Officer at First National Wealth Management. The short-term interest rates have come up tremendously over the past year and a half, and that's as a result of the Federal Reserve raising short-term interest rates to bring down inflation and to slow down growth. And as a result of that, bond prices have dropped in value because there's an inverse relationship between interest rates and current bond prices. So if you're an existing bondholder since January 1st of 2022, your bond prices have dropped because interest rates have come up. And so if you're selling fixed income, if you look at a statement, you may see bond prices have dropped in your statement. Fixed income is relevant for anyone who has a short-term goal in mind. So if, if you're looking to buy a house, for example, within a three-year time frame, investing in fixed income short-term is relevant today. It, every investor is different. Um, con conventional wisdom tells you that the younger investor should invest in more in the, st in the stock market because they have more time to let assets work for them. Some, some clients would like to have fixed income because it's important to them and they, they would like some stability built into the portfolio. But some investors like all stocks, some investors like all fixed income. It really depends on who you are as an investor. There's no cookie cutter strategy. It should be dependent on your short-term goals, um, your objective, your time frame, and your risk tolerance. The silver lining to a rising rate environment is that if you're new to bond, the bond market and if you need fixed income today, you're able to come in at a, an attractive entry point. If you're, if you're one who has a portfolio today, who has, who holds fixed income, um, the idea is to be patient. Bond prices come back over time. And if you look at the long-term the long -term track of inflation all the way back to 40 or 50 years, fixed income is positive 90% of the time. So the idea here is to be patient if you're, if you're an existing holder of fixed income.